when you begin to say yes and then you experience what that yes does to you. Are you already married? <laughs> yes. Okay, then it's safe. You know. um. And there is this exuberance, it's, it's, it's like you're melting. But then around you there is no. What about? How do you go on with that? So the trouble started with the first yes. So, uh, you are being exuberant, your family is not cooperating, the world around you is not cooperating. See, I want you to understand this. The more lonely you feel, the more depressed you feel, the more the need for having company, isn't it? Yes? The more joyful you become, the more exuberant you become, the less and less you need company. So when you're alone, if you feel lonely, that means obviously you're in bad company. If you were with a good person, why would you feel lonely? You'd feel great, exclusive, <laughs> isn't it? So, your exuberance is not manufactured. If it is manufactured, yes, you need company. Now people's idea of exuberance is, let's talk, let's dance, let's listen to music, let's do this, let's do that. Not necessarily. You can just sit quietly here and be absolutely exuberant. If you're exuberant by your own nature, if, you're exu if the life has become exuberant, activity is just a consequence. But if your life is not exuberant, you're trying to crank it up with activity, then activity is the means. So this is a big difference. Either you dance and arrive at a certain state of exuberance, or because you're exuberance and you cannot contain it, you dance. These are two different things. Either because you're happy, you burst out into laughter, or somebody told you every day in the morning if you laugh and laugh and laugh, one day you will become happy. <laughs> These are two different ways. Tell me, which way does life work? Look at everything around you. Which way is it working? Is it because there are flowers, the plant and the root came up like a support to the flower? Is that so? Because there's a beautiful flower, this plant and its root grew so that it can have a nice pedestal. Is that so? This is so with this one because this is manufactured. Because there's a microphone and they didn't want to trouble me, then they manufactured a stand, a stem to it. Is that the way this one happened? Because the exuberance in the stem could not be contained, it flowered, isn't it? This is the way life should happen. If you try to do the other way, then it's going to be a very hard life. The hardest life in the world is to be constantly putting yourself out into the world like you're joyful when you're not. That is the mo hardest thing to do in life. Is it so? When you're not happy, to show everybody that you're happy it costs phenomenal amount of life, isn't it? Have you noticed this? Some people are there when they're happy, they're happy, when they're not happy, they're not happy, they just show it to everybody, the whole world knows their thing. Their act of life, everybody knows. Some people manage… 
all the time but it takes phenomenal amount of energy to keep it up like that. You will grow diseases in your body, I'm telling you. You will go… you will grow lumps and tumors in your body if you try to constantly put on an act. This is happening all over the world. Actually, if you are willing to be a subject, I can demonstrate it to you. Within a few hours, I can make you grow a tumor. <laughs> really, I'm not joking. If you make your mind in a certain way, you will do that. Only saving grace for you is, you never do anything steadily. You are off and on, off and on, off and on. Your joy is off and on, your misery is off and on. Never on. If you become utterly miserable, you will see the consequence of it. If you become utterly joyful, you will see the consequence of it. If you become utterly angry, you will see the consequence of it. You don't see the consequence of anything because you are always off and on, off and on, off and on. People ask me, Sadhguru, what kind of uh, attitude and emotion? I said, damn thing, any damn thing is okay. You want to be angry? Be angry. Twenty-four hours, non-stop, you will get realized. I'm not joking. You, you like love? Be loving twenty-four hours, you will get realized. You want to be depressed? Depression, no, that's not an attitude, that's a pathological problem. It'll make you sink elsewhere. Anything else, just keep it on for twenty-four hours, you will come to a certain realization. But nothing is there. We were also singing that. Nishchala tattvam, jivan mukti, that's all it takes. You keep changing the direction and the course of your journey, how will you go anywhere? You will end up in circles. Which way you want to go, I am not deciding. Go wherever you want to go, but steadily. Not every day altering it, altering it, altering it. Everything, every cell, Every atom in the existence can be a doorway to the beyond if you go steadily at it. But the problem is people keep shifting and shifting and shifting. And that's the biggest problem with today's world, like never before. People think it's a virtue for them to say, our attention spans are very short. They think they've progressed. They can't listen to anything, they can't do anything. The whole discussions about the future media, what is… You know, in India, a cinema means four and a half hours at one time. They cut it down to three hours. Now most of the Western films are ninety minutes. Now because people want to watch movies, you know, it will happen in a year's time or so, movies will come on your cell phone. Obviously, you can't do this for one and a half hours. So movies, stories are being told in three to ten minutes. A ten-minute movie, cinema is over. The same nonsense, you could have done it in ten minutes, so why were you wasting our time for three hours? <laughs> but that's how it is, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Now you can watch every cinema in the world because it's only three minutes. The real long ones are four and a half minutes. Aren't they telling the whole story in a thirty-second advertisement? Aren't they? Just like that. You want to watch a cinema? Over. So what will they do with the commercials then? If one minute, two minute becomes a full-length movie, what to do with the commercial, I hope they disappear. 